It is a new era for identity fraud. Crooks can use electronic pickpocketing devices to steal your credit card numbers while they're still in your wallet. So how real is this threat and what are the biggest risks out there? John Cilio is the author of Privacy Means Profit. He's also an identity theft expert who was once a victim himself. Good morning. Twice, you. actually. Good right? morning. Yes, two right. times. Now, uh, John, I hold in my hand, this is uh, one of your credit cards, and it's got this little, it's got the little logo on it with those little... Uh, that little beam little sonic right there, symbol, yes. that means it's got an RFID chip in it, right? Yes, it means it's transmitting remotely, wirelessly to your uh, scanner. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my back pocket, and you're suggesting that if uh, evildoers, thieves or something like that, have one of these readers, uh, and for instance, if I'm standing in line and you were to come up behind me like that, mm -hmm. do we have all the, there we go. Yep. All the green lights? So yep. that thing just read... Your all card. the information without having it out of your uh, out of your pocket. And what Correct. can they what can they do with that now? You know, uh, the reality of this is it's a very labor intensive way to get your credit card number. It's easier to steal a purse to steal a wallet. What they get is their your credit card number. They get your name and the expiration date. The same amount of information that uh, a retailer or a waiter mm -hmm. gets when you hand them the card. Right. So it's yeah. it's actually very little data. So there's been a lot of news about this device. But what you're saying is for somebody to actually carry around a laptop and battery and this, that it would just be easier to snatch your purse. It, it would. And by the way, they don't get any more information than you're handing out every day. To shop online, you actually need what's on the back of the card, right. the CVV code. And that's, you know, a waiter can get that. But when you're scanning with this, it's kind of right. overblown. You have to realize the guy in that in that news segment was selling sleeves that protect these, so right. there was a, a problem. See, what you want to do is tell everyone if you have that little sonic label, tell them you want it off, so you don't yeah, have that yeah. problem. But exactly. Call your credit card company and get it off of the card. So where, where are we yeah, most at risk? Where are we most at risk, John? You're you're more at risk surfing wirelessly on an internet connection in a cafe than you are with right. this, or having your purse stolen, your sure. wallet stolen. And when we saw when these gizmos first came out a couple of years ago, it was like just take. You don't even have to enter the number. You just tap it like that and and go. Yeah, so it's, it's convenient. It's interesting technology, and it's you know it, it is a risk. It's not a high risk. We should be focusing on more important forms of theft. We should relax through the holidays. This is not going to be a problem. All right, and and the main problem to look out for: we're online. We hit, we we bang in our credit card. Are we all right? You're all right. You know, if you monitor your accounts, if you have credit card account alerts, or you go online and monitor it, mm -hmm. you're actually not at that much of a risk because even if something happens, you shut it down quickly. No liability to you. Right. right. That's the key to be on top of it all. Absolutely. Uh, John Cilio, always great to see you. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. And the uh, name of the book is Privacy Means Profit.